2020 is here. Are we finally going to see the housing market crash? Well, I've done a ton of research and I'm here to tell you. Everybody quiet, please. If this is your first time at the channel and you want to know more about Roanoke, smash that subscribe button and hit the little bell so that you're notified every time we make a new video. My name is Kyle Sharples. I'm with the Jesse Realty Group. We are a bunch of local realtors who love making videos about Roanoke and showing you what it's like to live here. We get questions all the time about people moving here and what it's like to be here and we absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving to Roanoke, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, heck, send out if you have to. We have your back when moving to Roanoke. All right, so everybody I know has been asking me about the next crash, the crash of 2020. This is the year, uh, and I really want to do some research on this and give it to you um, as plain and simple as possible so that you can make the best educated decision uh, for yourselves and your loved ones. Since 2010, we have been climbing out of that 2008 market crash, and it just hasn't shown any signs of slowing down, and I think the research is going to surprise you. Um, job growth is through the roof. We have a all time, like a 50-year low unemployment rate right now, um, and with interest rates hovering right around 4%, this is as good a time as any to, to purchase a home. So this year, there's going to be estimated a 1 million house shortage in the United States. So for the amount of people looking to buy a home, there's going to be a million people who are not able to get a home. Not because they can't get approved, because they can, it's just there won't be enough inventory for them. Because of the high demand for homes this year and the low inventory, one out of four houses is expected to have some kind of bidding war. With housing prices rising and interest rates staying so low, now I think is as good a time as any to buy, if not the best. All of the lenders that I've spoken to think that the interest rate r might rise to mid fours or low 5% by the end of the year, but it could very well stay at the low fours. Now I wanted to read you something because this is from Fannie Mae's chief economist, Doug Duncan, and what he said was, and I quote, in our view, residential fixed investments are likely to benefit from ongoing strength in labor markets and consumer spending, in addition to low interest environments, as a phase one U.S. China trade deal appears to be in place. The global growth scale seems likely to reverse course and accelerate through 2020. The top economist for Realtor.com is saying that it's not going to be affordability, but rather availability that is going to make this one of the toughest years to find a home. We, ha we can afford the houses, the interest rates are low, it's because new construction can't keep up and nobody wants to sell right now. So all of these top sites, Zillow, Realtor.com, all that stuff, they're noticing a lower inventory of resale homes. And it's just because new construction can't keep up and nobody wants to move. And I'm not trying to scare you off, it's just the truth right now. We're getting people into houses all the time and houses that they love all the time, it's just, it is tightening up and I think that it's worth an honest conversation with yourself about exact criteria that you need, what you must have, what you must not have, what you, if that's in your house, you'll never look at that house. You need to know those things and think about it um, and have an honest conversation about those things. Um, we can use coming soons to try to take advantage of low inventory. There's a lot of options out there, but you need to have that conversation first um, and be able to move quickly when you do find that house. So it is another uh, a video for another time, but yeah. And on top of that, Roanoke is the economic center for the region. We have below national average unemployment rates, and on top of that, our job growth is expected to boost 30% in the next decade. We have more jobs available right now than we have people to fill them. I hope this video helped give you a little bit of insight on what the housing market is like here. Uh, it is kind of going like this all over the country, but I wanted to specify the growth rate and all that stuff in Roanoke, so I hope this helped you get a little bit more educated on the market here uh, to help you make a little more educated decision for you and your family. Um, and remember, rising prices, low interest rates, and uh, lack of availability is making it very competitive out there. So make sure if you're serious about getting a home, get a good team. 
Uh, and like I said before, my name is Kyle Sharples, and I'm with the Jesse Realty Group. We are local realtors who like to make videos about what it's like to work, live, and play in Roanoke, Virginia. And if you're even thinking about moving here, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, whatever you gotta do, send an owl uh, where you got your back when you're moving to Roanoke.